And all of it comes after five long months of consideration by Governor Newsom after the 16th appearance by Sirhan Sirhan in front of the California Parole Board. He has already served 53 years in prison, and now we know he will serve even more time. Here's why. Sirhan Sirhan, the assassin of Senator Robert Kennedy, will stay in prison. His bid for parole and freedom rejected by Governor Newsom, who calls this one of his most impactful decisions. This one's more impactful because it has an impact around the rest of the world. It's impactful because it had a direct impact on 11 family members, 11 children of Robert Kennedy. Uh, it changed the course of history. The governor rejecting the recommendation of a two-panel state parole board, which said Sirhan, now 77 years old, should go free. A recommendation even backed by two of Kennedy's own children. But the governor, in denying parole, writes Sirhan still poses a current threat to public safety and lacks the insight that would prevent him from making the same types of dangerous decisions and mostly Sirhan's refusal to accept responsibility for his crimes. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Thank you very much. L.A., June 1968, the Ambassador Hotel. Moments after winning the California presidential primary, Kennedy is shot, dying on the floor of the hotel's pantry. Sirhan later convicted of firing the three shots that killed Kennedy. This is Sirhan's gun, as it's called, it was presented into evidence. The chilling evidence of that deadly night preserved here at the State Archives in Sacramento. The gun Sirhan used, an eight-shot revolver, the bullet fragments taken from Kennedy's body, and the five others wounded that night. Evidence examined in this earlier Fox 11 report a short time after Governor Newsom looked at the very same evidence in making his decision to deny parole. And I personally went and I reviewed the archives, saw the gun, and read through the diaries, Sirhan, looked at all the evidence of this case, uh, we took this to a whole other level of consideration. Consideration to parole, Sirhan, drawing controversial debate. Advocates for sentencing reform say if there's no risk to the public, then it is time to change the system. At some point, I think there should be an ability to return them to the community and not continue to spend money warehousing individuals into their 80s or 90s. Even the Kennedy family itself divided at one point. But now that Sirhan's parole is denied, Kennedy's widow Ethel and six of their other children, who all oppose parole, reacting with relief, saying, we are deeply grateful for this decision aimed at ensuring that no family nor our nation will suffer the same heartbreaking, irredeemable loss. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Thank you. Hard to believe, more than 50 years ago, huh? Now live, the Ambassador Hotel, it is long gone. It is a school building complex now. As for Sir Hans, Sir Hans, his attorney is out tonight, and she's saying in her words, there is not one iota of evidence to suggest that he is a threat to society, and she plans to appeal the governor's decision to deny parole. For now, we're live here in West L.A. Back to both of you. Ed, thank you. And tomorrow night at 10.30 on our political show, the issue is, I'll speak with Christopher Kennedy, Robert Kennedy's son, who opposed parole. We'll also talk with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and California Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mark Galley. That's tomorrow night at 10.30.